Today's fashion design inspired by Donald Trump and the Halloween pumpkin. Why did I choose Trump? If you look at the Merch Informer for Merch by Amazon, you'll see lots of t-shirts supporting Donald Trump, since Halloween is a few days ahead. The most common t-shirts have a pumpkin symbol with Trump's hair. The word Trumpkin is Trump plus kin. So, let's see how to inspire fashion design from Trump's personality and pumpkin. First of all, I'm Bill, so, don't wonder about the change in my color. The important is to give you a good explanation of what's going on here. Once you want to inspire a design by a particular person, try to see their personality, and Trump is known for his informality. To be honest, I want to make Trump's hair as fur covering the shoulders, the lines here are for fur layer. Strokes in Illustrator can be shapes if you go to Object and choose Expand. Now, I'm editing the fur edges using a Wacom pen and tablet, the tool in Illustrator is Pencil. Or press N on the keyboard. I want to add a background to these black edges by drawing a rectangle covering the whole fur, arranging it to be back. Choosing both black and yellow pads and hitting the tool, Shape Builder, then pressing Alt to delete the excessive rectangle path. Now, I'm continuing to draw the style outfit inspired by Trump's character, he is known for his spontaneity. So, the outfit here is sport a bit, not formal. Look how do I edit the edge of the top, so it goes with the model pose, there is a bit of pleat. Again, drawing the main lines using brush, then, converting them to pads by, expand tool, from the object, menu, then, adding a background layer and using the shape builder. Just focus on how I add pleats that go with the model pose for the short.
The color number used for the fur is CC6600 and for the top, 1A1A1A. To make shadows, I duplicate the layer of the item by using Ctrl and C keys. Then, Ctrl and F keys to paste the same path on the same position, which we call it Paste in Front, you can see it in Edit Menu. Then I go to Opacity and choose the Blending Mood to be Multiply, then I fix the eraser to be on pressure by clicking it, change the size of it and choose the option pressure beside the size. Then I erase some areas from the upper layer of the path and it would seem like shadow areas. Now I'm adding the pumpkin details, it would be printed, not embroidered, and on the same fabric for the top. Look at these steps carefully, I'm typing Trumpkin, all letters are capitals, then I go to the type menu, and choose create outlines, so it changes from font to group paths, then from the tools box. I choose width tool and press a bit until I see the option wrap tool. I click on the Trumpkin word group paths and change the setting of the wrap tool so the width is 20 pixels, and the height too. Then drag with pen or mouse with the same line of the top's pleat. Okay, the idea for a t-shirt on Merch by Amazon is to draw hair like Trump's one, and add it to a pumpkin vector with scary eyes, and just type these words, Trumpkin. Or Trump make Halloween great again, or Trump make Halloween scary again, or the Halloween is to have a president but Trump. There are lots of supporters for Trump, and would love having t-shirts with slogans support him. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. In this step, the background layer is identical to the upper black edges, so the vector would seem rubbish and not very well, so I choose the under path,
go to the object menu, then option path. And choose the option offset path. From the box I change the offset path to minus 1 so it stays under the black lines but not exceeds it. It's almost done, but the final outfit with the accessories and suitable shoes is not here, we'll get it out for you in the next short video. Don't miss it out, it's sporty, casual, and good for both Halloween and Independence Day for Trump's lovers. Okay, as I said a while ago, some accessories were added to the outfit. Stay tuned for the next short video to see it. Happy Halloween to you all. Bye bye.